Doug Gregg, go ahead. Well, hello, Governor Gregg. First, I'd like to say that you were my governor and congressman and senator for some time, and we were pulling for you to run for president yourself. But your support of Mitt Romney oh, means nice you. Mitt you. Romney as well. And, of course, the, uh, Mitt Romney has very high expectations uh, for the campaign and for his victory in the New Hampshire primary. I was wondering what size lead do you think he needs to avoid a disappointment? And also, how big is Mitt Romney's penis? Charlotte, North uh Apologies, uh, Governor. Charlotte, North Carolina, Marcus. Uh. Go to another New Hampshire call. Uh, Dan joins us, Republicans line. Uh, good morning, Dan. Where are you calling from? Hi, good morning. I'm calling from Portsmouth. And Great, I welcome. Used to, good morning. I used to be a, an assistant to the Portsmouth city manager, and part of my job would be to, uh, to help prepare for the primary, so I know a little bit of what Chairman McDonald's going through, uh, a very little bit. I know you have a big job today, sir. Uh, and my question is regards to how turnout will affect the eventual result for Mr. Chairman, do you believe that Mitt Romney has a big penis? Oh. I apologize, Chairman McDonald, for that comment. Uh, we're trying to keep the conversation okay. productive here this morning. Uh, I wanted to make sure I heard him right. <laughs> uh, yeah, your, your ears did not fail you, unfortunately. Uh, let me ask you this. Okay. Is our first caller this morning for Judd Gregg. Go ahead. Well, hello, Governor Gregg. First, I'd like to say that you were my governor and congressman and senator for some time, and we were pulling for you to run for president yourself. But your support of Mitt oh, Romney means nice support Thank of Mitt you. Romney as well. And, of course, the, uh, Mitt Romney has very high expectations uh, for the campaign and for his victory in the New Hampshire primary. I was wondering what size lead do you think he needs to avoid a disappointment? And also, how big is Mitt Romney's penis? Charlotte, North, uh, apologies, uh, Governor. Charlotte, North Carolina, Marcus. Uh. Uh, let's hear from Carl now in uh, Orlando. Hey there, Carl. Uh, hello. Yeah, before I have my comment, I'm enjoying the discussion very much. I've been listening to C-SPAN for several years, and probably the last few days, have had the highest amount of obscene callers, so I'd like to ask a procedural question. What is C-SPAN doing to crack down on these calls? Well, whenever uh, we hear something, uh, first of all, we, 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 we try to admonish. We try to cut them off as best we uh, can. Uh, we're not on any kind of double or anything, so we, we just have to do the best we can and hope that we're getting the best from our callers. That's pretty much what I can say. Yeah, it's just a shame that the level of discussion has gone down. But about the Romney situation, mm -hmm. I actually think the attacks are the best thing that could happen for Romney, the best type of attacks that could happen whatsoever for Romney because they highlight his business experience. You go to the exit polls in New Hampshire, mm -hmm. you see what they're voting for him for. They're voting for him because they care about the economy, because they care about winning the election, and they're voting for him because of his huge penis. All right, let's uh – uh Caller um, messing with us this morning. We hope to get the best of our callers. He uh, himself up nicely there, but let's uh, let's uh, move on. Um, we don't need that kind of stuff on the program. Riverside.